put this in really carefully because of this micro fine wires. And then on this end, I can put the shims back on it. Here you can see all th three windings at once. Here's the, the inside winding. That's a 50 meter long RTD to sense the average temperature of the inside tube. Then we have another 50 meter long RTD to sense the average temperature of the outside tube. And wound on the outside of that is a heater. And every one of these windings is two, two wires in parallel so that it's wound non-inductively. That helps cancel out noise and errors. And it makes sure that you're not adding any extra ma magnetic fields to, to the, the unit under test. The yellow light here is the active insulation on the pipe. Alright, what can you tell us about this? Well, this is a small calorimeter that controls its own environment. Over here, we have an outer tube. That this, this is a transparent outer shell that keeps air, air flow off of it unless we want it there. Inside that is what we call the outer tube. That has both a 50 meter long RTD and a heater wound around it. And we're controlling that to, to, to maintain a constant temperature of approximately 40 C. Then inside of that, is another tube with a, just an air gap in between the two tubes. And the heat flows from the unit under test, which is inside that, that chamber, through, through the inner tube, through, through, through the air gap to, to the outer tube. And we carefully measure the temperature between the inner tube and the outer tube. And that, that, to, that uh, to, to tells us the, the heat flow. And then there's a little bit of heat that can be lost out the, the quarter inch tube, which is our test cell. And to control that, we have active insulation. And the active insulation consists of a heater here and two temperature sensors, one located here and one, one in here. And, and it controls so that there's no temperature difference between these two sensors. And with no temperature difference across that pipe, there's no heat flow. And therefore, all the heat has to flow through, 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 through the actual calorimeter instead. And does it work yet? Seems to. We're fine-tuning the PID algorithms now. There's three PID algorithms in here. One is on the active insulation. And the, the, the uh, amber light in there tells you when the heater is on. And right now it's flickering because I, I have the D portion to turn it up a bit high. Uh, the blue lights are for, for the heater on the tube. It tells you how, how strong that's turned on. And the red lights are for the fan. And the fan is always ready to kick in. That's why there's a little, a little bit of flicker on it. It's ready to kick in at a moment's notice and b balance out the heat. So far, it looks like we're maintaining the temperature in there to plus or minus one thousandths of one C. I don't, I don't know what, 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 what that'll work out to when we add up all the errors, but it looks approximately right now like an error of about. Uh, to, 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 to two or three milliwatts. And if, if we we're wildly wrong and we add up a whole bunch of different errors, we're likely to be at least in the range of 50 milliwatts or tighter. And what are these little holes for? 
These holes are the vent holes when the fan turns on. Cool air for, for, from the room flows in these vent holes and cools off that tube in case there's any excess heat that's got to be carried away. That's all under PID control so that tube stays at a very constant temperature. It's not perfect, there's lots of ifs, ands, and buts, but it's way better than anything else we've had so far. And it should be mostly immune to, to changes in the ambient temperature. Not much now, there's a little blue. Yeah, we're pumping roughly 30 watts in, into the test heater, I think. So we're doing more cooling than heating. And the reason you see blue and red at the same time is because we want those to just about overlap. We, 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 we want one to take over before the other one quits. Ooh. And this one was fl flickering at, at, at about the same pace and we just slowed it way, way down because it's it's kind of a slow th th thermal process over here. So we slow down the control loop to, to be much more stable. This one, I think we, we kind of like it fast. <laughs>